All right, everybody, we're just going to be bringing y'all a short video going over a new spot to farm your exotic catalyst or get them done. Or if you want to use them for, you know, we weapon and two mints, stuff like that, you can use this spot. But mainly for exotic catalyst. Uh, so we just got a new spot here. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go over it. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is load up the Vow of the Disciple raid and blast this projection of Savathun in the damn face. Once you kill her, this door will open. You're just going to go ahead, pop your sparrow, and go on right through. Alright, now once you get here near this little pyramid ship, there's going to be three abominations that are going to spawn. Uh, you're definitely just going to want to get rid of these guys as, as quick as you can. And then we will go ahead and move on from there. Alright, now once you go ahead and douse all three of the abominations, that's all they're going to spawn. Now generally, you would just go run, run about and get the little, uh, little crystals here. However, uh, you're, we're not doing that. Once you kill those abominations, you're good, dude. They're not going to spawn ever again. And you can literally just sit here and farm these scorn. Now, I'm going to be using my bad juju here for a little bit because uh, the catalyst for this I literally have 0% on. And uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and go to work for like just for five minutes or so and uh, just show you what I'm talking about. Literally, the scorn are not going to spawn. As long as you stand by the ship, the, uh, you're never going to have to worry about the uh, pervading darkness uh, killing you because you're by the ship, which is you're chilling. You're good. You're just good, dude. You can just sit here and you can literally just go to work. The scorn infinitely respawn over and over again. And as long as you don't get the ship, uh, the darkness uh, buffs and, and light buffs and stuff like that, bring them back to the ship, the ship's not going to move and you can just stand here forever. The ship also acts as a pretty a nice little piece of cover as well. You know, if you're taking damage or if you just want to come back here and switch over some weapons, you easily, easily can. And as you can see, uh, more scorn are spawning in and we're just chilling. Now, comparing this spot to like the other two main other spots people would probably use uh, being like the Grass of Avarice entrance and then uh, Soro Cheese uh, taken throwaway. Uh, the reason why I like this spot um, a little bit better uh, than some than, than things like the grasp. Um, the grasp of Avarice is a very good area. Don't get me wrong. Literally takes no time to set up. You literally just load into the area and you're good to go. Um, the burden of riches that uh, that drop from all the hive can sometimes be a little bit counterintuitive, and they can actually explode and kill some of you know your acolytes and your thrall that you're actually trying to get uh, you know turn it down. And you know it can inherently take a little bit longer. And can be just a little bit more annoying. Plus, uh, those wizards, low key, can be a bit annoying as well. That con that consistently spawn in. The Grass of Avarice is still a good spot. Don't get me wrong. And then the Soro Chi. Um, you know, some people might not like wanting having to wipe over and over again, or some people might just not have. Like some new people might just not have Forsaken, but they probably but they you know have Last Wish. I mean Last Wish, but they have Witch Queen. Duh. So they have access to the Vow of Disciple. And since you don't have to spend time like wiping over and over again in resetting the encounter, you literally just stand here and the more scorn spawn consistently. You know, that does save you a little bit of time just because you're not sitting at a screen, a, you know, a loading screen um, like every minute and a half or so. You're literally just chilling here, shooting enemies consistently. You're not having any burden of riches, you know, take kills away uh, from your exotic that you're trying to get the uh, catalyst with. You're not having some annoying wizards snipe you here and there. You literally just have those three abominations that spawn, and then that's it. You kill them. That's just pure, just normal scorn. Little trash mobs you can just dunk on over, all over. Very nice and very easy. Also, you know, I have some heavy on there just chilling. And I overall just really like this spot and figured I would go ahead and share this for anybody that might not have a good idea of where to go by getting their exotic catalyst done quick. So I've been shooting these, these scorn for like literally like six, seven minutes now. And uh, we're, we're at pretty decent progress for our bad juju. I know I'm taking damage. It's 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 quite okay. Uh, we're already at 20%. Already a fifth of the way there in just a few minutes. Very casual, very easy. And yeah. Anyways, though, guys, that is going to about wrap up the video. I hope you all enjoyed. Use this spot to your heart's desire. My name's Curry. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.